This is the third video in my gift guide series this year. In the first video, I shared tips on how to give good gifts. In the last video, I talked about actual items I think would make a good gift. And today, I'm going to share with you 10 practical stocking stuffer ideas. Now, if you didn't see the last two videos, I'll leave the link in the description. Just like the other videos, the focus on this video is going to be about practical stocking stuffers. I have most of these ideas in mind, but I took to the internet to look up some stocking stuffer ideas to see what else was out there. And I found found some ridiculous stuff. I found actual claws that you can attach to your hands to shred meat with. <laughs> Just like, what the heck? And then I found what was called a cold beer coat. It's a mini coat that you put on your can of beer or whatever you're drinking to keep it warm. Why would you want a warm drink? And then I found socks that you can get with your own face on them. <laughs> like why why are these things existing because i think that is like the craziest stocking stuffer so i hope that this list will be helpful because it's just some practical items just like in the last video i'll share 10 items that could be for a man or a woman and then at the end i'll share a few items for men and women specifically for all the products that I mentioned specifically, I'll leave a link in the description. And all the links that are to Amazon are affiliate links, so no extra cost to you, but it helps me out if you decide to purchase that product if you use my link. So, let's get into the video. 10 Practical Stocking Stuffers Number 1 is pens. Pens or pencils, either one that you want to gift. I don't know if there's like a monster that collects pens and pencils and takes them somewhere, but if I buy a pack of pens, it seems like I have the pens for two weeks, and then before I know it, I only have two. So you have to comment below and let me know if that happens to anyone else. But I think this is a useful gift for anyone. Everyone has to write. Whether you do want to do a gift a pen or a pencil, it doesn't matter. There's so many types of pens out there, of course, but my favorite pens are the Sharpie gel pens. I like the one millimeter ballpoint. I like it a little bit thicker because it just seems easier to write and to read. But the sky's the limit. Doesn't really matter. Just get, get someone some nice pens this year. Number two on this list is chapstick. At this time of year where it's cold and dry, your lips can get cracked and it really hurts. So chapstick would be good for a man or a woman. There's lots of different kinds of chapsticks out there. My favorite is Burt's Bees. And if you're not sure about who you're gifting it for, get them something that's like vanilla or maybe even unscented. Something that's just really basic or maybe even something citrus. You don't have to do some kind of crazy flavor or anything like that. There's another company that I love. They sent us some chapstick. Uh, a couple months ago, so if you're watching this, thank you for sending that. And their their name is Vermont Bee Balm, and that has been pretty much my favorite chapstick ever, so I'll definitely leave a link to their website. But just like with the pens, the sky's the limit. There's so many different chapsticks, but I think anyone would be happy to get one as a gift. And this time of year, I know Burt's Bees, but I'm sure other companies probably do it too. They package them together in little gift sets, and I think that that's just really nice for a stocking stuffer. Number three on the list is candy, and I think that this is pretty universal. I think a lot of people put candy in stockings, and I think that's just like a great classic stocking stuffer. I always buy my dad a pecan log, and I always buy my mom kind of the old-fashioned coconut candy. I always put that in their stockings every year, and they love it. Chocolate, of course, is good. Jelly beans, anything that you want to put. I just think candy is a great gift. Next on the list is chewing gum or mints. And I actually found some really cute uh, vintage holiday mint tins on Amazon that I thought were pretty neat. Uh, any kind of gum, anything like that. I just think it's kind of a nice little treat, kind of like the candy. And we all have been there where maybe we ate a lot of onions for lunch or dinner and think, wow, I wish I had some gum. And if you're like me, you search your purse in vain and you don't find Moving on to number five, and that is sticky notes. Now, this may seem like a really odd kind of stocking stuffer gift here, but you could do sticky notes. You could do like a little notepad or some paper, just something like that, because in this technology age where everything is online, I feel like we've really gotten away from paper, but sticky notes are so useful. Even if you just want to tape one up to your fridge to start a little list of what you need grocery-wise, I think they're handy, and I think that it's a thing that not a lot of people would think to buy themselves. So I think they'll be happy to see it in their stocking. Next on the list that's closely related to candy is honey sticks. So we've been putting honey sticks in our stockings for the last several years. So usually in the summer when we're playing music at festivals, uh, there's always someone there locally selling honey and they'll have honey sticks. They just make really sweet, no pun intended. 
stocking stuffers. And if someone doesn't want to eat the honey straight out of the stick, you could always put it in tea. And another cool thing is that if you get those honey sticks locally to wherever you live, the pollen that is locally in your area will be good for you in that honey and it will be good for your allergies. So it even has some health benefits too. Number seven on the list is Christmas ornaments. You can't go wrong with Christmas ornaments because the person, whoever you're gifting it for, can just add it to their tree next year. And this could be for a man or a woman. There's so many different kind of ornaments out there. I love getting on Etsy and looking at the vintage ornaments. I got Austin an ornament a couple years ago from Etsy that was a deer horn, like with a little bullet. There's the shotgun shell. So there's definitely a lot that you can get for a man, not just for women. I think people tend to think of ornaments as like feminine. But there's a lot of options there. And then when they hang that on their tree next year, they'll think of you. So I just think that that could be a really special gift. You could also make your own ornament. Uh, of course, there's lots of different ways to make an ornament with pictures, with family pictures. I think there's a lot that you could do there that would be really nice. Number eight on this list is phone cleaning wipes or some kind of screen cleaning wipes. I've heard it said before that our phones are like the dirtiest thing that we have because we touch everything else, then we touch our phones. And if you think about it, it's really pretty gross. So I think that that would be a good gift for someone uh, to just wipe down their phone with every once in a while or even their laptop, anything like that. I think anyone could get use out of that. We've got two more on the list here. The ninth one is some kind of disposable camera. I've seen this done before, and when I was in my early teens, I used to buy disposable cameras all the time. Because again, being in this technology age, all our pictures are digital, which is great because you can store a lot of pictures and they don't take up a lot of room in picture books in your house. But I never really look at my pictures because they're all on my phone. And then if you're like me and you get different phones as time goes on and different computers you don't even know where half your pictures are at and they're just sitting on a laptop that you keep and you can't throw away even though it's 15 years old and you can't even remember the password but I think getting a disposable camera would just be cool you could encourage someone to take some pictures make some memories and get them developed to having a book because it's so fun when you go to your family's house or your friend when they pull out the photo albums and look at them all and share stories and I just think that would be a super sweet uh, stocking stuffer Number 10 on this list is gift cards. Now I mentioned this in my last video and I kind of talked about gift cards to big box stores like maybe Etsy or Amazon. But for a stocking, it might be nice to get a gift card that was to a local place uh, or their favorite restaurant, maybe even a massage gift card. That would be really nice, especially if you know someone locally. So supporting local businesses uh, as well. So I think that would be a great stocking stuffer idea. I think that's great to round out our list on number 10. And gift cards are great just if you're really unsure about what to give someone. You, If you just give them a gift card where they can buy something that they would like, you really never go wrong there. Now for men and women, I've got three items for men specifically and three items for women specifically. So we'll start with the men. And the first one is a pocket knife. Now there's lots of pocket knives out there, so I think that this would be... Uh, not too hard budget wise to find one because you could spend a ton of money on one you could spend not a lot of money on one and there's definitely a lot of knives out there that are good knives that are not terribly expensive I got Austin a knife several years ago and it's just a kind of a regular basic old timer knife pocket knife and he has really enjoyed it so anything like that would be great another thing I think a man might enjoy in his stocking would be meat seasoning now I know that sounds kind of strange but most men love to grill and cook meat outside and they enjoy that and I know Austin definitely loves to cook and he loves to have new seasonings to try out on the meat and there's so many different brands so many different flavors I just think that that would be a, a neat gift it would be pretty easy pretty simple but pretty useful lastly for men a great stocking stuffer is beef jerky Beef jerky is really just great overall, but of course it's a high protein snack, which is nice, and the beef sticks fit perfectly in a stocking because it's just a stick that will go straight down in there no matter how big or how small the stocking is, and we've done that for Dad for years. We always put the um, beef sticks in his stocking, and he loves it. Now, three stocking stuffers specifically for women. So the first one is some kind of essential oil roll-on. Now, they make lots of different little roll-ons like this. They make them for stress, they make them for sleep, uh, even for digestion, for calming. I mean, you name it, they make it. So, and when I say a roll-on, I just mean some kind of essential oil. Usually it's diluted in a carrier oil that you just roll on somewhere. I think that would be a really nice gift uh, for a woman. I think that she would enjoy that. Number two is some kind of small jewelry. 
So this really doesn't have to be super expensive, super fancy jewelry. There's a lot of awesome little sterling silver stud sets or even single pairs on Etsy. Uh, I really like those. Or you could do like a little bracelet of some sort, some kind of beaded bracelet or a little necklace. I think that'd be a sweet stocking stuffer. And these days you can get some really nice sterling jewelry for pretty affordable. Lastly for women would be a bath bomb or I found out just today they make shower steamers. Personally, I don't take baths because I feel like I'm just cooking myself in my own dirt water and it grosses me out. But if you have shower steamers, apparently they're just these like little blocks that you just toss in the shower while you're taking a shower and it has the same effect. And that would be great if you were like congested and wanted to open up your sinuses or if you just wanted to kind of make your shower more relaxing. I'd, I kind of feel like the shower steamers are more practical than the bath bombs, not like trying to crash anyone's party if they like bath bombs and baths. I just don't want to cook myself in my own dirt soup. So that is it for this video. I hope that you got something from this that maybe you'll have these ideas for stocking stuffers for your family and friends this year. Be on the lookout for the next video in this series. As always, thank you for watching. God bless you. God keep you. And I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> All it is is you're seasoning yourself. And getting yourself so Basting gross. In the you you just basted it like a turkey in your own dirt. <laughs> but with a shower, the water, it can just go down the drain. The dirt's on you, it's off, it's gone before you even realize it. If I took a bath, I would just have to take a shower immediately after I took a bath. <laughs> and another thing is, is when you take a bath and it's really hot, <laughs> you just cook yourself. <laughs> you just sit there and cook yourself. And you get so hot. <laughs> By the time you're done in the bath, you can't do anything else. <laughs> if you're lucky, maybe you have the strength to stand up and dry off. You'd be like Kramer. If you take a shower, you could make salad. You could talk on the phone. You could pay your bills. You could do all kinds of stuff. That's cute. What's in this dog? Focus this way. <laughs> It's time to put on the socks and go to town. That's a wrap.